How's it going folks? We are doing a tips and information video today. Today is going to be just not really unboxing because I already unboxed it, but just looking over this tool little set I got off eBay and uh, yeah, just going through it. So in the RC groups you always see a whole bunch of people asking where or what to get for toolkits for the RCs. Um, this channel, I've gone over what I've previously used for many years. This came from a little toolkit from Lowe's. Comes with a whole bunch of the hex bits like this. Also you have you know little Phillips, flatheads, all kind of different things. It comes with other items as well, but very useful just for the uh hobby and I think that was only like 20, 25 bucks. But since then, um, this 1.5 has kind of started stripping out and I lost the 2mm hex that I use a lot. But this was nice just because it was, you have that extension but you have the magnet to hold this um, screws in the bottom. Worked a little bit with the extension but it was just less powerful to hold on to things. And then this could also be used to put into the truck of a drill. So very friendly in that regard so a lot of people use MIP bits or screw screwdrivers whatever they're using um, I have not personally bought any yet figured one day I will but I need something uh, kinda cheaper and so I ended up with this this is powerhobbies.com or powerhobby.com this I just picked up off eBay I think it was 17 bucks with shipping so pretty cheap but I did want something magnetic and something I could also throw in my drill which MIP certainly has but a little bit more pricier than I had for my budget so let's go ahead and uh, look into this real quick now you might say why not just spend extra how many bucks for some MIP stuff that's going to last maybe longer or Doubt for a lifetime, but a lot better quality. Well, don't know how bad or good this is, but it was only 17 bucks, and I was trying to buy other parts as well. If you see back here, I've got some metal housings for the uh, monster truck, also metal drive shafts. So, had a lot of other stuff to buy, so that's why I went cheaper on this, and it was kind of gonna work. So. I ended up picking a blue one out. They sent me a green one on accident, so I got some money refunded. Um, so that kind of works. But um, go check out powerhobby.com, I guess. Or you can just probably type it in on uh, eBay. And that's how I found mine. So it comes with the handle, of course. Metal handle. Got some grip on the side. We'll insert. Top comes off, as you've seen already. There's a little washer up there. That does not screw in, it just pops on. And then inside where you can store all your bits. Now the package will come with your handle and then the bits on the side. Um, but you'll store them all inside the handle, which is nice and uh, convenient. Inside the handle just has little holes. I don't know if you guys can really see those, but it's just holes to fit the bits. This one comes with a little flathead. Then you got a little Phillips. Got a three millimeter, which this one, there's five holes going around, but then you got a center one down there. That's where this big one goes because that's the only one that'll fit. But got a three millimeter. And then of course 2.5, two millimeter, and 1.5. So everything I need right there on hand. And um, magnetic. This is handy because you're dealing with a lot of small screws and that can uh, help when working all those tight areas. And then also, I wanted it to be friendly enough to go inside of a drill. So that works perfectly. Because I did see some sets with the uh, handles built in, of course. I know MIP has something like that. But I did want a set where I can kind of Pull them out and do uh, do some other work. I don't think I can use this extension. Yeah, it's too big for that, but 
they're decently linked, so hopefully that'll work. If not, I can always find some extension to make that longer. Then, of course, they slide straight in your handle, just like that. So, that's pretty much it. And then, like I said, you just uh, slide them in the holes that are outlined inside there. Like I said, they're six total, and the three millimeter will go directly in the center. Top on, so easy to store away. So that's the quick kind of unboxing and look at the little powerhobby.com tool kind of hex tool set. Again, this is more of a affordable budget thing if you guys are interested in checking it out. Maybe down the road I'll do more of a uh, future review of how it's held up. Um, like I said, this one. It was just a Cobalt Lowe's kit, and this held up for many years and did quite a good job, and I'm sure the quality of this isn't much different for, probably from this, so um, we'll see, though. Uh, this is the 1.5 as well, so it is smaller than your 2 millimeters and all those, so of course it's going to probably strip a little quicker, but uh, since I did lose that other one, I had to get a new set, and this is... A little bit more handy and these thin grips like this kind of make it a pain get some of those tight screws out so this thicker handle will help but um i'll try to uh find a link and leave that below as well in the description so you guys can check this out if you want um just to help you guys out with something cheaper or budget friendly if you do need to buy a whole bunch of parts like i did and you really don't want to spend the extra how much for the MIP stuff right now. So like I said, this can get you by, and then later on when you decide, you can upgrade to some MIP drivers or whatever you need. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment below any questions. Like I said, I'll try to do a future video of how this is held up. And um, yeah, check out the other playlist now. See you guys next time.